This video is protected by fair use. It's not for profit. I don't have GoFundMe pages. I'm not trying to get money out of your pockets for making videos. So we got a really rainy day today. It's pouring buckets and um I just want to state once again that anybody who has an issue with me doing videos every day, oh well, I do them as I want to, as I feel like it, so it is what it is, but what I want to talk about is how I believe that we are going to experience some very miraculous miracles. Seems like he's taking a page right out of Chiron the Lost book. Miracles, immensities, the end is near. The end is near. Immensities. It's going to walk in the dark. It's the key and she is the door. <laughs> all this stuff. And then he took it all back. I mean, it's just, uh, they change with the wind, but I'm shaking my head, man. Miracles, right? A reversal is coming. Good times are coming. There's going to be new management, he said in a previous video. He thinks there's some kind of divine father God like in the Bible. That's what he thinks, except the, the biblical God was fucking evil and cruel and sadistic beyond measure, a monster. That's what this thing worships. That's what he's going to be blowing in the afterlife. He's going to get down on his bony knees and blow that monster, call it God, and worship it and praise it. Worship its bollocks. That's what he's going to do. Within the next 10 years, believe it or not, um, it was several years back, I remember making videos about how I foresaw and I, I'm just going to state for the record also that I do have the gift of foresight. It's I, I've been able to predict things many, many, many times in advance. He tries so hard to impress people. That's what narcs do. Narcs try so hard to impress people, saying they've been able to predict things many, 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 many times in advance. And the gift of foreskin, or sorry, foresight, he claims to have. So, yeah, it's just... Uh, a try hard, and that's part of the the traits of a narc. Is they try so hard to impress everybody with everything, everything. They try to claim to be special and have these special abilities and all this stuff. They just are trying so hard with everything, no matter what it is. And um, even right down to like things that I went through right before they happened exactly the way as they played out. And some people might say, well, you manifested that. But no, it wasn't like that at all, actually, because people still have free will. And um, I just saw certain things like images of certain things playing out and then they happen. Some don't happen for a few years. Like I might see some. Just want to jump in for a second. Watch the eyes here. Watch the eyes. Watch its eyes, okay? Study it. Study it. You'll see what I'm saying later on, okay? Thing, even, you know, a decade or so in advance. And that's up to you to decide like what you believe about that. Nobody has to believe me. You don't have to take my word for it. The proof will be in the pudding. It will just be what is. So I'm not really worried about it. But, uh, you know, everybody's got different spiritual gifts, provided that you're like of that sort anyway. You know, you're of a spiritual nature. You're of the spiritual kind. And But how many of your NPCs here, Derek? How many do you write off as being soulless robots, just NPCs? And how would you know? How would you know? How would you be able to determine which ones are real real and unreal? Sort of like Chiron the Lost. 
the real and the unreal, the artificial, the real versus the artificial. How the fuck would you know? You can understand these things. Everybody's got different gifts. Um, mine are definitely in foresight. And I would also say discernment. Um, because I also have the ability of foresight in certain ways, my discernment may not make sense to people right from the get-go because they don't see what I see. And so to them, like, for instance, like I predicted things on like... His discernment sucks. His discernment sucks. Absolutely sucks. If he had good discernment, he wouldn't be in this situation right now. Let it go, bro. He was told months ago, repeatedly, not just by me, but by others. Take a break from YouTube, he was told. He's told all kinds of stuff. Move on. Don't obsess over me. He was told all sorts of things. Did he listen? Did he use his discernment to say, you know what? That's good advice. That's sound advice. That will help me. Nope, he didn't do that. Narcs don't do that. They don't listen to good advice. They think they know best with everything. Can't help a narc make a good decision. They think they know best. They think, no, they think they know better than anyone else in this realm. Like crypto, I, I knew pretty much exactly what was going to happen. And I was telling people, even when Bitcoin was like between. They're watching the eyes go all over the place, the crazy eyes. I want you to watch those eyes. In six and seven K, I'm like, this is going to go through the roof. I, you have no idea how many people I dealt with online, like back when I used to use Facebook and stuff, that were telling me that, you know, it's going to go to zero, it's a scam, yada, yada, yada. And I just, I stuck to my guns. Um, in fact, I predicted the year that I would open up my gym. Um, I put my employment as DiCarlo Fitness, just randomly on a whim one day, because I had a feeling for 2017, that was exactly when it happened. Where is DiCarlo Fitness now? Did you predict that? Where is it? Said you could predict my moves 10 moves ahead. Wrong. But during that time, I was also investing in Bitcoin because I knew, like, just through intuition, something was going to happen with it. And lo and behold, it actually, like, in a way, exceeded my expectations sooner than I even thought. And um, But at the time, like, my discernment didn't make sense to other people. They didn't see what I could see. They could only see the right here and now and, um, and also the past. So I chose to go with my heart level, my gut level intuition. Like, and even right now with these videos that I'm making, like, you will see the things that I've said come to pass but right now there's going to be a lot of people that get mad at me there's going to be a lot of people that doubt me and you have the right to do that i'm not going to ever try to take that away from you um you want to challenge me on something feel free that's totally fine but to those who understand that these things take time and you know you're willing to also have patience I somehow know that we are going to see some really, really miraculous miracles play out within the next 10 years. It's not going to happen, you know, we'll see a build up to it, but it's not going to be an overnight thing. And what I was actually saying a little bit earlier in this video is that several years back, I did some videos where I was saying, because everybody thought we were at the end, they thought like the matrix, you know, this place was, the world was ending basically, like things were shutting down, we're going home really soon, and I... Everybody thought that? Really? I never thought that. I wasn't on your channel back then, but I never thought that. Who's on your channel anyway? Who follows you? Are they bright people? Do they have discernment? Can they see what you are? Are they just cult followers? 
angel of farts. Always in agreement. Angel of farts. And there's Granny. Is that a Granny or is that another? That's another Brenda. That's another. That's not the Granny Smith. This is another Brenda. Huh. Is she a Granny too? This guy. This little, this little worm, this little weasel plays both sides. He uh, does this on every channel he's on. You know. Look at him. Wonder how this guy looks in person. Jellyfish spine, maybe? Inner glow. Another worm. They want validation. That's what they that's what they want. I don't know this one. No, some of the oh, oh that's gross. That's gross. Scrolling down. They think this one's me. It's not me. Look at, they just assume. This is what they do. This is what low IQ paranoid losers do like this. This guy, Dick. Flinghammer. He is a dick. He's a dickhead. And then this person said it's not Steven. Yeah, well... Wrong. Completely wrong. Not me at all. But go ahead and ban people from your channel just assuming it's me. You know? This person says it's a fake war. It's not fake. Okay, and then this person, Blood Moon Palladium, is posting about me. Asking him why he assumes that the person behind the avatar is me. He's paranoid, and it'll never go away with this narc this creature. Anybody new that shows up on his channel just think it's me. Anybody that doesn't kiss his ass and doesn't praise him, he'll assume it's me. Anybody who disagrees has a different view, you know, laughs at a video, let's say, they're just so paranoid. He's fucked himself, you know. Look at the paranoia. <laughs> look at this, look at this creature. Yassan Cockroach, official YouTube. Go away, Stephen. Can't even spell my name, and it's not me. Blood Moon Palladium is not me. In fact, I think I had to ban that person from my channel because they were acting foolish and stupid, making false accusations on my channel. Maybe they bought the fucking lies, or I don't know. But anyway, it's not me, and we're not friends, <laughs> okay? So yeah, that's what his channels turn into, just a hive of paranoid fools. <laughs> I love it. Look at the face. Look at the face. Look at the eyes. So impressed with himself and, and just tries to impress everybody. It's like we're not impressed. Intelligent people that can see are not impressed by this whatsoever. Why don't you go stroke a tree again in the woods? You know, give a tug job to a tree. <laughs> I gotta show a clip, a bit of that. Sorry, just a second. In case you haven't seen this meme, this is what I'm speaking about. Okay, look at what he made in the woods with this tree. Look at this. If that's not homoerotic, I don't know what it is, man. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I think the closet door needs to be opened up. That's what I think. You know? Come on, look at that. Look at him. Just look at him. to shed some light on that I was like no and I said I actually think this is going to drag itself out for quite a while um minimum several more years but I said it would be more like well over 10 years 
and look where we are. I mean, I'm not trying to brag, but the point is, was I wrong? It upset some people greatly. Uh, some people... Oh, I know, he's not trying to brag. And then when he says it upsets some people greatly, look at the look, look at the eyebrows. He doesn't like that not everyone believed him. He doesn't, look at this. Look at the face. Look at the expression on the face. Look at the eyes and look at the eyebrows. And look at the tension there between the eyebrows there, just above his nose. I'm going to leave this here for a second. Take a good look at that Taliban wannabe. And look at the face. It upset some people. He didn't, he didn't like that. That they just didn't buy up and lap up his every word and believe him. On whatever it was. Got some real deep issues. And it, it's nothing bad against them, but they even admitted to me, like, you know, this video that you did triggered me. And, and I understand. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to believe it at the time either, but I knew the truth. I knew that this was going to drag out for a while longer, and I still think it's going to. However, I do think that there is going to be a very, very significant reversal along the way. Um, what I've been referring to as a flipping of the script for a while. I've only heard one other person talk about this, and that was Lisa Harrison. Um, I was already talking about it. I'm not trying to take credit from her, but uh, it's interesting when you see things in advance and then you realize somebody else who's, in a way, proven themselves to have psychic, like real psychic abilities and foresight um, say the same thing. But she refers to it as the flip. I've heard her say this before. Um, to me, that is going to be where the small becomes the big. Trying to impress you, trying to make you believe that he has real psychic abilities. <clears throat> he's such, excuse me, he's such a tryhard. Just such a tryhard. And the big becomes the small. So even if you take into account physical stature in this realm, I believe the truest of us, the realest of us, the, uh, the ones who have actually been around the longest, the true ascended masters who have, um, you know, we've. He thinks he's a true ascended master, if you can believe it. Can you believe that? A true ascended master. Believe it. He can't even control his own emotions. He makes violent threats. Ended master? Are you kidding me? Like a narcissist. We've had lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of study, so to speak. Uh, we actually came in here and took on the lowest positions. We kind of went into hiding in a way. We're like part of a... Um, a special ops team, if you will. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, uh. Given the exclusion theater that is going on in this world, I've only had I've only heard one person actually refer to it as exclusion theater, and that is the channel Learning More, which I mentioned yesterday. You can find the link to that channel in yesterday's video. But if you look around you, if you look on TV, I was actually just uh, at the gym and I used a massage chair after my workout, and it paused right on. One two two four four. The time on the TV. It actually froze on that time, and I'm looking at it like, what the fuck? And it stayed that way for a little while, and then it caught back up and went to the regular time. That doesn't ever happen, not from what I've seen. One two two four four. I keep getting one four four a lot. I keep getting ten forty four a lot. It's just it's been like everywhere, like more so than it ever has in the past. 
And um, just, I, I really truly should tell that to a psychiatrist and see what they say. Wait, aren't you the guys that like to condemn people for that sort of stuff? <laughs> oh, Derek. Poor Derek. Poor old Derek. We believe that something amazing is, is on the way for those of us who have remained true and to those who haven't you know all the people who are harassing others slandering others it's like just remember that at the end of all things that's who you were that's what you did just remember what you did what you've never mentioned you've made threats of violence you've had a charge of assault and battery domestic violence against a woman you have a violent history just remember your what you've done here just remember, Derek, what you've done, right? The stuff you won't talk about, you can't admit to, you can't face it. I haven't harassed anyone, dude. I'm absolutely free to make videos, to take clips, to do whatever. Nothing wrong with that. It's been done for decades before narcissist Derek, control freak Derek, humorless twat Derek came along he tried to control everybody on YouTube it's not gonna work you're not gonna control me never will you control me never so get that little smirk on your face you're gonna have to face what you've done you've been violent and abusive you're an abuser you're a domestic abuser know all about you all about you and your history all of it it's all gonna come to light you specifically and you had the choice to be different you had the choice to choose otherwise but you chose to slander others and prevent others from uh, not only reaching their goals, but also, um, you know, putting an end to all this, basically doing what's right. You stood in their way and you were an asshole. You were beyond that. You were more than... Was I? You said to shut down the sanity machine. You said you were coming to Canada, going to stay in a motel, going to call the cops on me. You said you found my location. You said I was going to pay. You're going to do violence. Uh, their punishment, severe punishment, severe consequences, all this kind of stuff. All kinds of talk like that. You're fucked up. Why don't you face what you've done? Lie to yourself. You're a liar. You're a lying little narcissist. That's what you are. You're not going to scare me off YouTube. You're not going to silence me. You're not going to stop me from making videos. You're not going to control me. Look at those eyes. Look at those psycho eyes. See that? Keep that in your mind for a second. That image. Just for a second. Here's what the eyes of psychopaths look like. Different shapes, but they have that stare. That's Jimmy Savile, that creep. That's a guy from Heaven's Gate, Apple White or whatever. That's the guy from you know where. All right. Show another image just a sec. Thousand yard stare of psychopaths. Do you see that? Look at their eyes. There is a pattern there. There is a similarity. It truly is. That AOC. That Pelosi. It's Clinton.
know who that is. Sure. a little a, a worm you were a disgrace so uh personally like i i don't at all why are you looking down when you're saying that you're a disgrace you feel shame inside deep down it's buried it's that shame of a narcissist that you can't admit to yourself you're the disgrace you're the abuser of women you're the domestic abuser you're the one that was charged with assault and battery in the home, the domestic home of a family member or someone living in the household. You are. That's you. Why don't you face that? You're the violent one. You're the one that threatens violence. You're the one that's done all this stuff and you're projecting. I haven't done violence. I haven't made violent threats. I haven't harassed. You've done all of that. All of that and more. That's why he was in jail, everyone. Assault and battery. Domestic violence. This is an abuser. This is a domestic abuser. This is a woman abuser right here. Right here on the screen. Look at him. Look at him. Just look at him. That's a woman abuser. It's a coward. Why doesn't he talk about that? He's had years to talk about why, was he, why he was in jail, but he won't do it. That was in 2020. He's had years. He's had years. He doesn't like that because I dug into his past after he made threats of violence towards me. He said, oh, I found your location. We found your location. All this shit. You're a violent narc. Go fuck yourself. See what you are and you're being exposed. We all believe that like after we exit this place, we're just gonna lose all our memories or anything. It isn't gonna be a forgive and forget type of thing at all. And um, you know, I will always remember you as a coward and, and a, an a-hole and uh, beyond that, I mean, just an absolute disgrace. So, this is why I urge people to choose wisely. Look at the eyes. Look at the face. Yeah, choose wisely. I won't forget what you've done here. I won't forget your lies, your slander, your threats of violence against me. I won't forget. I won't forget. See that? See his face? Just for a second, I'm going to show this, and I'm going to go back to the video again. But take a look. Take a look. As to who they are. And, you know, you've been given, I believe one of the reasons this has actually dragged out is to give those who are still on that side of the fence ample opportunity to change. Ample opportunity to change your fate, but a lot still haven't done it. They're not. How about you admit to your crimes, admit to what you've done? How about you change? How about you try some introspection? Look at yourself within. Look at what you've done. Look at your violence. Can't do it because you're weak. You're a coward. Like every narcissist, you're weak inside. You're the one with issues. Not looking at all the warning signs like, hello. And um, I think before the end, they're going to see, because all will come to light, as it always does. All is revealed just exactly as it is. Every single being will be forced to see the exact truth of every... How does he know this? And why would anyone trust this guy? 
why the fuck would you trust this guy when he flip-flops from week to week, sometimes from one day to the next? He's, he's one of the most inconsistent with his message or his views or his philosophy of anyone on YouTube. He's all over the place. All over the place. Because he's deranged. One moment he's talking exit kit, the next moment he's talking about miracles coming. One, one video months ago he's talking about how he wants to KI double hockey sticks, the creator of this realm. The next he's talking about worshiping it and how it's all in the plan and you know they're, they're trying to intervene, they're doing good for us and, and all this bull. He's all over the fucking place, man. It's all over the map. His map is mental. He wants to do violence over words. He can't take words. He can't take jokes. He can't take criticism. He can't take any teasing. He can't take comedy. He can't take parody short videos. He can't take anything. He can't take it. He can't take it because he's fucking weak. That's why. Fragile ego of the narcissist. That's what it is. Everything just the way that it is, whether they like it or not. Forced entirely against their will, whether they like it or not, because the truth... So he talks about consent, now he's talking about all this stuff. Forced against people that's coming against their will. Forced against their will all over the map he's all over the place his message is the most inconsistent of just about any youtuber that you'll ever find you know he's all over the fucking place should not have to relent for your for your own personal will and and what a lot of people you realize that what they want is basically just a world of lawlessness. It's really what it comes down to. They just want to be able to say whatever they want, do whatever they want. Treat There's a video of him saying that he'll do and say whatever the fuck he wants and yelling. Now he's saying that other people want that and it's lawlessness. If they, <laughs> he's just all over the fucking place. He contradicts himself more than anybody I think I've ever seen. Up, he's fucked up. Don't ever fucking threaten me again, Derek. Treat others however they want and get away with all of it. They don't believe in law, they don't believe in justice, they don't believe in morality, they don't believe in good and evil. They don't want to because then they would have to own up to what they did. Plenty of us believe in morality and good and evil, all that stuff. You don't see your own evil. You're that fucked up. It's a really obvious thing that anybody with eyes to see can see. They don't, it's very simple, they don't want to own up to who they actually were. Why don't you own up to your assault and battery charge, your domestic violence charge? You're an abuser of women. You won't own up to that. You've had years to do it on YouTube with your videos. And then when people are talking about it and shown and it comes out, you still don't admit to it. Why don't you own up to it? You're the coward. They want that world of supposed freedom, which is really no freedom at all, because they just want to get away with all their bullshit. That's okay. That's what it really is. That's what's really going on here. I can see that from miles and light years away. Other people, maybe not so much. Well, other people can't see it. Derek can see it, but other people can't see it. He can see it from light years away, really. Really. Want to talk about the definition of a cult leader 
a narcissistic cult leader and false prophet and someone that's deranged, it's right here. It's right on your screen. That's what it is. But when I was watching the TV and it stuck all that time, I was paying attention to what I was just thinking about. Was the TV talking to you the way the trees talk to you? You hear the trees in your head, the voices of the trees? Was the TV talking to you, Derek? <laughs> Do a little bit of cursor magic. Some cursor magic. Curse him. Curse him. Curse him. There's his image. Curse him. Curse him. And I was watching all these people wind sail surfing and just looking like they're having a blast or doing all these amazing tricks and stuff, just performing these incredible feats. And I'm just looking at it like... You know, most of us have to go to work to support ourselves all the time. I'm not knocking the hobby, but how do people find the time to do all this stuff? Like, they, they're just living it up while the rest of the world is in shambles. There's the narc envy. Jealousy and envy right there shining through. Deny it and say it's not that at all, but that's what it is. He can't figure it out. He just can't figure it out. And, you know, I'm not against self-improvement at all, but, you know, when you look at this system for what it really is, it's as if it was set up for exclusion theater, just like Learning More has been talking about. It, it really is. Like, everything is thrown in your face. You get all these robot people in their robot, fake scripted lives just kicking sand into your face, rubbing salt into your wounds. I want to jump in here. Some of the people that would say, well, Derek is right. There are robot people. I bet Derek would think you're one of them. <laughs> so the ones that are agreeing with him saying he's telling some truth here, I bet he would immediately think you're a robot person as soon as you disagree with him on one thing. So don't be so quick to agree with the narcs. You see what I'm saying? Because he groups a large amount of people in with the robot people, and he used to call them NPCs all the time last year and earlier this year. I don't know about his channel years ago because I wasn't on it. Tries to take people's humanity and spirit away, tries to dehumanize them and commit spiritual, spiritual murder as notes or materiality. I believe he coined that term, calls it. I know I didn't coin that term, but so I'm trying to give credit where credit is due. that's the right thing to do there's no law for that or you know i really don't care about the laws of youtube or the laws of you know the western world or society or whatever but if somebody creates something i try to give them credit for it making it look like you're this loser and, you know, you just struggle to get out of bed in the morning. Meanwhile, they're just living it up. It's a hard thing to explain, and I can't really even put it into words, but it's very obvious to me what is really going on here, that the true creators, the true divine, are actually the ones being the most subjugated. They're the ones who have been held back the most. I know one thing. Narcs often feel like losers inside, so they try to project that they know everything on the outside. They try to impress everyone with everything externally. They'll show you they're playing guitar, martial arts, this, that, whatever. You know, they try to pre pretend they can see the future. They can do everything, right? But they feel like losers inside. They're insecure. Deep down, narcs are very insecure beings. Very insecure. And that's often why they're humorless. They can't laugh at themselves. They can't take a joke. And they can't even watch videos and laugh unless it's really cruel towards someone that they already hate or biased against. So it's malicious laughter from them, and that's about it. They're that fucked up. They are that fucked up.
Curse them. Just curse them. Curse them. Cursor magic. Cursor magic. Cursor magic. <laughs> put into hopeless situations that somehow they've still found hope and that says everything about you so the true children i'll say of the light the true children of the light will um the true true children of the light you mean the soul travelers as you and kismet spiral your old buddy it seems to be a falling out there you don't really communicate anymore back and forth on each other's comments but that's where you got that soul travelers. So it's now children of the light. I mean, just, <laughs> just more guru speak, guru talk. Beings of the light, the true divine, uh, will win out in the end. Um, and I don't believe anything can stop it. And we will even witness true miracles before the end of it all. And also there will be a reversal. A real reversal where the little becomes the big and the big becomes the very very small and insignificant because it only appeared as if it was big and important just trying to think if there's anything else oh yeah if um if you are willing to aspire to a higher calling you can feel free to join my new channel it's not even going to be really my channel because i'm looking into how to get people to be admins on this channel so that more than one of us can post videos. I, I want to do mostly instructional videos on how to self-improve, whether it's fitness, self-defense, um, survival skills, craftsmanship, you know, any, anything that you feel you have to share, I would like for you, if you're a part of that channel, to be able to post your own videos. So that way everybody can learn from you and we can all get up to snuff on things because uh, I believe in the future we're going to need access to all of what we are. and. Oh, one other thing I want to say is, is like people who think like, oh, I'm just going to break out of here and I'll get all my powerful creator being powers and shit and I'm going to destroy you and I'm going to fuck you up and there's going to be this big ass. Notice he won't mention my name anymore. You notice that? <laughs> it's a sign of his weakness. That's what it is. That's what it is. Astral battle? No, no. You are only going to be a product of who you actually were, and if you don't make a decision to change, no. You are only going to be a product of who you actually were, and if you don't make a decision to change. in darkness you're going to stay there that's going to be your final decision that will be your fate you you are going to be a product of every experience you've ever had that's the real truth why should it be any other way you earn your form so to speak you are not going to be able to do what i can do and you're not going to be able to do <laughs> wait and see Do what others can do if you stay in that low level you know bottom of the barrel scum bucket shithead mentality i'm not low level psycho with the psycho eyes i'm way above you learn that there's levels to this shit i don't even have any morality you're fucked up. You're a domestic abuser. You're on team evil. And I see what you are. And I've exposed you. Just look at those eyes. Look at those eyes again. If you remain a shit crawler, that is what you will be when all comes to light. If it Imagine a wife beater or woman beater, 
Well, he's not married, so it's not a wife beater, but woman beater. Calling anyone else a shit crawler? That's why this guy was in jail. He never told you the reason, his followers. That's why he was in jail years ago. That's what it was for. anything you're going to be more of that because then we're all going to really everyone will see you exactly for who you really were and who you've always been and who you've chosen to stay it's a choice that's why i urge people if they can change i don't know if they can i believe everybody is capable of it they just don't want to i'm showing everyone who you are you can't even admit to your crimes you can't admit to being violent and victim. Well, actually, you said you're a violent person, but you can't admit to who you're victimized, who your victim is in that case. I, I suspect you've done that to others, too. It's probably not the isolated one, one time only. Eyes of a psychopath. That's what's showing right there. I see you, and I'm showing your face to everyone. And I'm not going to forget what you've threatened me with here. It's a choice of free will to do the right thing and, and, and keep it that way. It's a daily choice. I'm one way today, but that doesn't mean I'll be the same tomorrow. I have a choice have to, choice to make, make every single day about who I want to be. So why should I demand anything less from anybody? Why don't you admit to what you did in 2020, in February of 2020? You're a coward. How dare you call me or anyone else a coward? You're projecting. Yeah, it takes a real tough guy to beat up on women, huh? That's what you are. You're a domestic abuser. Anybody else, but to those who have that fantasy delusion that like, oh, you know, I'm just going to hatch out of this, this bodysuit and, you know, I'm going to destroy you and I'm going to seal you guys in and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. No, you're not because you're going to have absolutely no power over the true. Bullshit. That's why you're so worried about it, because you know it's coming. I didn't say I'm going to seal everyone in. I said I'm going to seal the demons in this realm, where they belong. Divine, none. You're not going to have any. You didn't spend any time cultivating it. It's like you thinking that you're going to take me. How the fuck would you know what time I've spent, what I've done, what I've cultivated, what I've worked on? You haven't done the inner work, you fucking coward. You can't admit to beating women. You've never admitted to why you're in jail, why you were in jail. You just keep saying, delaying it, saying one day maybe I'll tell you. Fucking coward. That's the coward right there, everyone. Right there. There's the coward right there. In a fist fight or a sparring match, it's not going to happen. If you don't train, if you're not in the gym every day like I am, lifting those weights, um, strengthening your bones, toughening up. Trying to impress everyone again. You're so fucking boring. You're so mediocre, so mundane. You're not even one one thousandth as, as intelligent as you think you are. You're just, you know, you have an overinflated ego and you're just full of yourself. You're just full of yourself on everything. And look where you are in life. You're a loser. You're a violent loser. You're a woman abuser. I'm going to end this video. This is about all I can take watching this freaking scum. I hope you got something out of watching this, everyone.
He's been exposed once again. He's the one who has no power. You're powerless, demon. You're a powerless loser. And this is where you belong in this realm. And you're going to stay here. You belong here. This is where you belong, right in here, right in this hell realm. That's where you belong, demon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for thinking. Have a great week. Take care.